Okay, uh, hi all. Uh, I'm Mario from El Salvador, from the open source. Oh, it doesn't work well. Uh, sorry, give me a second. <laughs> um, I don't know what. Okay. No, it's in the other side. <laughs> okay, sorry. I just bought this computer last week uh, because mine failed. So I will do it in the worst way possible. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> okay. Thank you for giving us this time. I'm part of the open source hardware community there in El Salvador. Uh, where we were the first branch uh, outside the USA. So we have a couple of years around here. And I wanted to show you a little bit of my country, if this computer lets me. Okay, it's not working. Okay, I had to turn back there. Okay, I come from, from this place. Uh, you can see it's a beautiful place. We have warm water whole year, so if you want to visit us, uh, you are going to have a good time. Uh, and I have been working with open source har hardware since I was uh, very young. Uh, that makes sound strange because it's something uh, very recent. But uh, the reason for uh, why I'm telling you this is because essentially my father uh, is a technician that uh, worked uh, fixing uh, laundry machines and air conditioners. And I remember that when I was young, I always asked him how he managed to fix things. And one day, he opened the door of one of these washing machines and showed me the schematic and told me something like, OK, you look at the schematic, you see how it works, and you replace whatever you want. Certainly, this is not the open source that we know uh, now, but uh, what I can tell you is by the time that he was working, uh, that's why even more open than the 99% of things that we have around us. So um, his influence made me to choose electronics in uh, high school because we have this uh, technical high school that teach you electronics. And that was not a coincidence because uh, uh, there was a time when the Texas Instrument uh, had a factory there in El Salvador. And they needed skilled workers uh, f for their factory, so they modified the educational uh, curricula of the high school um, institutions in a way that they can get skilled workers. Um, actually, Texas Instruments closed in El Salvador around uh, uh, 1985, the year that I was born. But their educational uh, content uh, is still the same up to this day. And that means that there are many places in El Salvador where you can learn basic electronics and you can learn this kind of things that we are not using. Obviously, I went to the university and I start, started to study computer science. Um, that is certainly related to open hardware. Uh, and I started working with these people uh, from the uh, National Environmental Observatory. And uh, their work is to monitor all the natural hazards that our country is exposed. And what I mean with this, we have earthquakes. Uh, just to give you an idea, we have a, an earthquake uh, a quake about uh, five or six Richter every week. So. Uh, I was looking at, at your constructions here, and if we made the buildings the way that you made it here, it's possible that we don't have, uh, we couldn't have any buildings there. So <laughs> uh, it's it's really interesting because we are exposed to all kind of natural hazards. We can uh, we have uh, tropical storms. We are exposed to tsunamis. We have a lot of volcanoes. They are beautiful. You can visit them in one afternoon if you want. We are a really small country. It's about the size of Massachusetts, just to give you an idea. And uh, 
the problem they are facing is that we have a lot of small emergencies and they are really hard to, to predict because, you know, when you have a such small country, you need a lot of data because when you get closer and closer and closer uh, and you try to make predictions, you need more data uh, than you will need for a big country, for example. Uh, so what uh, the government is trying to push is to make these low-cost uh, uh, meteorological stations that could help to complete the data that they cannot get by the satellital images. And uh, the question is, uh, whoa, uh, how we can link everything together? Uh, with the government, with the open source hardware community, and uh, what we are doing. Um, what we are trying to do is to use open source hardware to build some kind of network. In this case, uh, many of you maybe know uh, uh, about the things network. So we are trying to instead buy in this expensive uh, access point. We are trying to tell the people, hey, just spend a little quantity of money and put a do-it-yourself uh, gateway. It doesn't matter if it's just one channel. If we get enough, we can cover the city because the city is actually pretty small. And uh, the idea is that we can make the people to join this uh, movement to try to complete the data that is missing from uh, the National uh, env Environmental Observatory. And uh, uh, the other thing that is happening, and it's, it's really interesting, is that the government is uh, uh, doing this robotic program, uh, program, educational program, and we have almost uh, 400 schools working with a combination of open source hardware uh, and another proprietary uh, <laughs> solution that I wasn't uh, going to mention. So the idea is that we can put them together if we can see the people from the Ministry of Environment and the people from the Ministry of Education, we can actually convert the whole city in an experimentation playground. When they can build these, uh, let's say, these sensors that can be built easily, that can be maintained by the community, and, uh, they, uh, and can help to complete this missing data that we need to make decisions. Um, the book def definition about resilience is this capability of uh, the systems to recover when they are modified. And actually what we think is that uh, the only sustainable way to make a community resilient if, the, the, if they have the means and the tools and um, let's say the knowledge to really gather the data to take decisions based on the data and to share what we are doing. And we truly believe that if we can uh, get this project working in El Salvador, it could, could be easy replicated in other places. So um, I don't have many more to do because I know that many of you maybe are hungry. Uh, so uh, thanks for your time. And if you want to join us, any help is uh, welcome. And uh, I don't know, uh, have a nice afternoon. Thank you.